Jake, I got a problem, man. I got a problem. Thing busted. God damn it, dude. Oh, man. I'm over here in an uh, auto. Morning, YouTube. Uh, it's about five in the morning. And um, I'm a pre trip. I'm gonna drive for about an hour. And um, I like coils. Okay. I noticed something was off about my, my trailer. When I stop here at that red light right there, bring your livery right there, and I'm in I'm in Alto, uh, Alto, Texas. So I noticed something was sticking out on my back of my trailer, and I was like, "What the hell is that?" And I looked, my mud flap. How in the hell that happened? And then the tires are good, the tires didn't pop. But then again, I found out this is leaking oil everywhere, everywhere. Look at that. So the center of it is popped. Okay? But the tire is good. The tires are good. See? The tires are very good. No wrong with the tire. No pop, no nothing. But how in the hell this mud flap got like that? There's no way. There is no way. I don't know how in the hell that happened. But the most I can say, I can fix the mud flap. I can buy another flap, I'm sorry, buy another flap flap and, and be done with it. I actually have a spare mud flap back in my truck. But this, how in the hell this happened? Okay. So, I can't keep driving with that. that those are bearings right there. There's bearings inside that. Okay, you keep driving it, those bears are gonna go out quick and then you got there's gonna be more damage. Okay. I don't even know if I have oil for it. That's gear oil right there. Let me I just gotta dig in my truck and see what I got. Catch you guys later. Alright guys, <clears throat> look at my truck. I do have a spare. I keep an extra one. I thought I didn't buy one, but I did buy one. So, that hub is for the trailer. One problem is, do I have gear oil for it? Even though I replaced the cat. It's not fun. Not fun at all. All right, let me get to work. Just in a bit. Hey guys, we're back. I highly recommend, okay? I highly recommend if you're an owner operator, you have your own trailer, buy an extra hub for your trailer, okay? Buy one, because you don't know when this thing goes out, it just goes. I have a 2020 flatbed. It's barely three years old. How in the hell that hub cap happened like that? Don't make no freaking sense. I always, oops, I can't, just dropped it. Always carry. And luckily, I got a half a jug of oil left. Okay. Make sure you carry these two stuff with you at all times. Because you never know. You cannot keep driving with a hub like that. Okay. You cannot. This is the gear oil. So I do have some. And this is uh, Steamco. Okay. Steamco brand. But you know, I bought this at Utility when I bought supplies for my flatbed. Go on there, tell them what kind of trailer you have, looking for a hubcap. Carry one or two. I'm gonna buy one more after I put this on when I get home. All right guys, let me get to work. All right guys, we're back. I took all the bolts out, okay? Took all the bolts out. Here's the cap that broke, okay? And you can see, it's dripping oil like crazy. You see all that? Okay. That's all bearings right there. 
and there's more there's more uh, ball bearings in here there's ball bearings in here but there's bearings here on the outside that's why you do not want to drive without a replacement you gotta have a replacement man you got to okay because this right here will cost you a lot okay i don't know exactly how much but it will cost you to fix this okay here's my replacement okay get a replacement guys okay make sure you get a replacement and have some oil put it in your truck you never never know when you need it look it's spilling everywhere crazy ain't it all right guys we're back okay so i already re did replacement we're good there okay here's the old one the broken one okay that's the broken one that's the new one has a little bit ton of oil left now you're wondering what kind of oil you're gonna need you're gonna need this right here sa 85w140 85w140 is the most important thing it's a gear oil okay difference in uh trans and differential lube 85w140 is what goes into that hub so i'm gonna pour it on that pour that oil in there into that open take off the red cap put that in there fill it up as much as i can clear my wheel a little bit and take off that's all right now guys thank you for watching please give me a lovely support please give me a thumbs like hit the subscribe button down below hit the notification bell every friday's up with a new video remember buy an extra hub have grease oil in your truck because you never know when that thing happens you have something to replacement that way you keep on going you don't want to sit here for hours and hours and try to find a replacement part so you get the hell out of here totally costs a lot of money it's best to buy that oil leave your truck have tools you're good to go all right guys peace you guys have a wonderful week it's still wednesday i'm still working so catch you next time all right guys i'm gonna give you guys a little update this is one hell of a day, man. I'm telling you. Okay, so I barely had enough of oil. See that line right there? This second line right here? When you're in here, you're full. When it's down here, when it's down here, it means you're low. But right here, you're full. So I used all my bottle and I had barely enough. But after I did that, delivered my coil, put up all my stuff away. And as I was offloading, look at this. Got flat. And look. A freaking nail, man. One hell of a day. I'm over in Great Plant Tire Shop. Gentleman here, give me the damn thing. What the hell is this doing in the middle of the road?